Hello everybody, you're watching the Terrier Sports Network. I'm Michael Garay and right now I'm standing, actually I'm sitting down in the bleachers here at the men's basketball home gym here at SFC and sitting next to me is Stefan Perunicic who is making his name big time on the court here at SFC but he's also making his name big time in the classroom as well as he has a 3.9 GPA and I want to talk to him about that first before we get into the season stuff. So Stefan, um, originally you were going to play for Rhode Island University and they they were sure about your um, your play on the court but they weren't too sure about your academics and your English but then you come here and you excel on the court as well as in the classroom how does that make you feel yeah that was just a, that's the motivation for them to play even better to work even harder um, I guess I was just international students and they uh, they uh, they maybe wasn't sure that I will do well in a classroom there was some problem with a TOEFL test, but um, it's all past, it's all behind me. I never regret that I came here and I just have a perfect time. I try to do my best uh, on the court, in the classroom, um, and, you know, just try to enjoy life here. All right. And do you ever use that as, like, motivation? When you're on the court, when you're doing your class assignments, do you ever say, you know what, Rhode Island kind of rejected me and I'm doing really well now? Do you use that to better your performance on the classroom and as well as on the court? To be honest with you, I don't really think about it. It's just, uh, you, you know, you have uh, two separate areas of your life. You have academic area and then, uh, for me, basketball and, and at athletes, uh, athlete area. So, uh, basically, what I'm just trying to do is, when I'm on, in the classroom, try to focus as much as I can, get as better grades as I can, and then when I'm on the court, I just try to do my best and, and, and help the team win. Now, I want to switch gears to the season, which is being... It's, it, it's really such a good year right now, especially for you and the rest of the team. But you in particular, I think, I believe you're scoring about 10, 12 points per game. You're averaging about. What have you done differently over the off season and in, in this season in particular that you've kind of upped your game a little bit? Well, uh, off season when I went back home, I used whole summer just to prepare myself because I, I knew I'm coming to my senior year and I knew that a lot of things is going to be on me because I'm senior and I have to be a leader on the court, off the court, uh, lead by example. So uh, I try to prepare myself as best as I can during the summer um, and just uh, come here ready. And, and, and I'm, I'm just glad the team is doing well and I hope we're going to do it more better. Did you see the team excelling at this level at this rate of time? Last year you lost Cadell, you lost Bennett. This was supposed to be a rebuilding year as I understand it, but it doesn't look like it has been. Were you surprised in any way of the team's success thus far? Um, not really. Since we started the season, I had, I, I had, I've been have trust in these guys, and uh, I trust them right now. And and, and I, I know that that um, that each of them can can contribute to this team. Um, some coaches or whatever they picked us 11th in the league. That was that was kind of com surprising for me. But uh, right now we are proving that we are much 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 better than that. And I, I hope we're gonna. Um, just start working hard and, and, and even work, win the conference. Can you identify some strong points on the team going forward if you are to advance deeper, deep into the NEC tournament? Uh, it's definitely our chemistry inside the team. Um, I think we all fight uh, to the end. We never give up and uh, that's, that's the most important thing. As coach keeps saying, uh, we got to get better every day and uh, we are trying to get better every day and, and you know, just make the best of us. And lastly, the confidence level overall on the squad right now. How confident are you going into a potentially an NEC title berth? Very, very much confident. Um, we lost basically two, three games in very tight ends. Uh, there was a, it was, it was literally one ball that was, that was actually deciding those games. Um, I'm very confident we're going to do well in a, in a conference. All right, Stefan, thank you so much for your time. And um, you're doing well, the team is doing well, and I uh, wish you the best of luck, all right? And if you want to check out Stefan and the rest of the men's basketball team, you can check them out on our home website at www.sfcathletics.com, or you could follow them on Facebook and or Twitter. Reporting from the benches here at St. Francis College Men's Basketball Home Gym, I'm Michael Garay for the Terrier Sports Network.